You go to his class and you just, you don't know what to think when you first get there. And here comes this elderly gentleman in t-shirt and overalls. He used to say, he's not dog training, he's people training. I'm going to show you two different ways to get your pup to lie down. He's got these dogs off lead in a parking lot with a major highway 20 feet away. Dick's the only name there is in Baton Rouge when it comes to training dogs. I think one of the reasons that his business did so well, he had his classes, but he helped people with animals. And I know a thing or two about training dogs, but the dog I trained with Dick Russell's influence is the best behaved one that I've ever had. Dick Russell's large field socialization is supposed to transform dogs. I mean, I would have never put this many dogs together unless I saw him do it first. He always kept the focus on other people. It was you and your dog. And he, he did get pretty grumpy at times. Rumbled and bright the whole time he was in here, busted the workers, busted the customers. You couldn't help but love the guy. He would tell everybody that he was the best dog trainer in the world. Are you guys aware that I am a world famous dog trainer? Because really until about four or five months ago, I was not aware of it. Good morning, Dick Russell. Good morning, David, the dog man. I hope that the doctors are wrong as far as their timing that they've given him. Well, cancer, when the word is first applied to you or to somebody that you love, is probably the scariest word in the English language. He said, I want you to think about coming on board, let me train you. I felt very honored. One day after socialization class, he, he pulled me aside on the porch and just asked, are you interested in becoming a dog trainer? Y'all are going to follow in my footsteps. What is it you say when the clock says 7 o'clock? Where you at, Mike? Where you at, Larry? Six steps apart going that way? Yes, sir. They're going to get it right. I'm going to hammer it into them until they get it right. There are people that dedicate their lives to single purposes, that do many, many, many things unselfishly and touch the lives of so many different people. They become legendary. This was Dick's life, that was his work. Your dog knows the meaning of sit. We're gonna rejoice. Dick Russell was a real dog man, and he was definitely one of the last of a great line of trainers. He knew how to work with dogs. He knew how to communicate with owners. Dick wasn't just training the dogs to live together. He was training the owners to be different people. Don't beat him up. Just teach him all over again. If you do that, you'll have a trained dog. In a lot of ways, he conducted his life a lot like we trained dogs. He turned these diamonds in the rough into the perfect pets. And all the dogs that are staying sane, that's all related to Dick. Some days it's hard, and other days it's poetry in motion.